Hello folks and welcome back to Court Farm. Here we are, we've just had lunch and we are going to be continuing with the seeding and planting of our crops. So yeah, let's have a recap of what we've done in last episode. So in last episode we start to seed our field so we've got almost all the field being sown here on the south part. Now I need to head to southwest to get this done and then I think the same is going to do this one here. Yeah, this one here is also going to be field beans. And of course, these two fields are going to be barley. Well, actually, you know what? Let's change up. Let's, let's do that barley as well. Let's have a huge grain harvest in the winter. Well, in the autumn, so. But yeah, anyway, so we need to head over here. So let's get over there. We need to head out the farm, up the road, around the corner, and down. So yeah, at the moment we are at only just at five grand at the moment and no more contracts has popped up yet. We do have some vegetables we can sell. Which may be a thing we do, because I want to change things up a little bit here. Because obviously, as we learned over the winter, the hydroponic greenhouses are very useful, so I'm thinking of expanding that. Get a little area. There's a new area. Could be here, could be somewhere else. Don't have to look into that. Head over here. Also, thinking to sort of switch things up a bit and diversify even further what I'm doing. Of getting some apples in, because I think we can grow apple trees here. And also, I think there is a production for that. Production, we're going to be struggling to touch at the moment, because I think the production chain for the apples, get apple juice and honey, is what? I think about 75 grand or something. Well, we're almost here now at the field, so we can have a little quick look. But yeah, this has been topped up, this has been washed, so we don't get any mud on the roads. Here we are, just approaching the field. I think it's yeah, this one here, past the house. Yep, tell by the fences that I've crashed into whilst we was plowing, liming, and still picking this. So, anyways, let's go and get this unfolded. So, yeah, let's have a look a bit more in detail of what I was on about. So, we head into productions under green houses. Obviously, got the hydroponics, they're 10 grand each. And they okay, are not there. Are the orchards? Yes, yeah, so apple trees. So, get the apple trees put in for about 1500 quid. And I'm thinking if we head back over to the farm area. Like these, we can put these pretty much anywhere, so... If we, can, if we get rid of like some of these, that tree over there... I'll whack a bunch of these down. Obviously, that does require... Actually, what is the spawn point of those? Do they produce paddits, or... Actually, you can put them down here, perhaps, so... Nope. We head to orchards again. So yeah, all right. We see a bit better now. So, but yeah, certainly can whack whack some down here. So maybe a bit of terrain work is needed. Well, right here. Actually, you know what? Let's let's do that. So. Soften terrain a bit around here. Yeah, it doesn't seem to be doing much, but yeah, so again, back into orchards, so 
course, got to be mindful of things like putting the water in, but yeah, certainly I'll say put them there. Another one there. And a, another one there. And if we can get some more money, we can plop them in. Because we look at the prices, so. Where is it? Two prices. Head down here, and we can have a little look for the apples. So, if you a bit further down. So, yeah, apples themselves. About 1800 to 2000 we can get, so you can probably sell them all year round. You get apple juice, which is just apple and water from the production. And yeah, again, 3700 to about 4100 so all year sell round price is good. Apple honey, so does that require sugar though? That's going to be the problem, so under productions. Factory, so not the plant expansion. Obviously, requires honey and sugar, so. And this is a pretty big thing as well. We need to find a suitable area. Like over here, actually, that would be very good. However, I'm also thinking about putting the greenhouses here, so. Because, yeah, I think we did mention this last time, so yeah. We can have one, two, three, four, and like five here. I have a little bit of space here to obviously come in in that. And we do own this area as well, so I'm thinking. So yeah, that's going to be, let's say six, so that's 60 grand. We'll just get a few more trees in, so that's that. Is there anything contracts wise at the moment? We'll also, look at our fleet off. Is there anything we can temporarily get rid of? There's that. Yeah, I do want to plant trees down, but I think, you know what? Heck it. That was a bit of a unnecessary purchase. Could always lease, lease that actually, so if we know what the heck it was, all that. No looters, still need that for the bathers, wind rowers. Uh, the thing is, like a lot of these, we can lease when we want to. Actually, it ain't a bad idea. Just for when doing contract works, when we get the actual grass contracts coming in. We can lease them for months at a time, and we still get a profit from them. So yeah, I think, you know what? Let's do that. So that will sell. So let me go and locate that a sec. And here it is. So yeah, so yeah, I think when we service this and all that, we paint it, we'll still get a bit of profit in turn. Take unconventional line there. But yeah, I think if we do the greenhouses first of all, so excuse me there. So I'm thinking again, soften terrain. I think it's pretty soft already. And there's like no weird peaks or mounds, so Yeah, it was like very little. I think, oh, okay. See where it starts to lip up at the edge here. Sort of see, but yeah, it starts to lip up there. So, thinking, but first of all, we need to put a pad down. So, thinking gravel. Yeah, if we gravel all this over. There we go. Come on. Get the smallest 
far as we can. Obviously, try not to go over bits. That's the only thing actually ain't gonna let us do go over by much of what we don't own. There we go. Go and I'll just be back. Those small details like that. So, if you bear with me a sec, I'll get this all painted up and then I'll sell this and then we'll come back once we have done that. And there we go. So, yep, got everything all done. And let's turn interactive markers off. So, yeah, we've had some money. And now we've got no money left to whatsoever, so... Yes, yeah, first of all, have a look here, so... My idea of having, like, six greenhouses... Wasn't gonna work. Like, it was too big and that, leave spaces and that, so... Yeah, so... End of it, still got five, like... Can't remember how much we got over the winter for a new fruit and veg, but... Yeah, we've got one, two, three, four, five... Wait a minute. One, two, three, yeah, five. Four I minutes, mean, six in, but no, we don't. I'm not gonna put water in these ones just yet. Um, yeah, we're gonna need a lot of water. And I mean, a lot of water. Like, those greenhouses alone can take about 30,000 litres. Let's see. Around, we have. Peppers, this area. Perhaps going this way wasn't the best. It's gonna hit. Yeah. But when we come around and fill up in the time lapse, whatever it is, yeah, we will do something different. But yeah, we have a look. We got juicy little apples growing. And how much do they take? All of it. That's a problem, that is, because if you go out here. We got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen orchards. We've got fifteen apple orchards and five greenhouses. And if we have a look in the extensive productions tab. 20,000 years is the exact limit of these, so that's going to be fun. And greenhouses, they hold 30,000 years each, so we're going to be making at least 20 trips, 5 greenhouses, 15 orchards, plus extra, so ooh, yeah. I think what I'm going to do is rather than, I think, yeah, we'll do a little time lapse now do some of this and the rest we will just do off camera and then I'll see folks in the morning for when we start doing the last of the fill beans yeah it's gonna be a week out uh, it's not really ideal actually what heck is do actually that first of all uh, yeah we can wait on the apples and that they can wait so yeah, we can get a water source down here now, but it takes forever to fill the tankers up, and we're going to the farm on the pond, and just do that instead, so, yeah, let's go and get this done now. So, we'll just pack this up, smash for hedgerows, do stop, or do, yeah, do sop, do sop, do sop, do, oh no. We've been here for a minute and we're already in traffic's way. Sorry, sorry. Just hit that sign. I'm so. Don't you move forward, you sh caravan. Nice car. What's that? Fiesta or what? No, no, it's an SUV. Of course, it's a typical SU SUV. Why do people need to have SUVs? Yeah, I miss it. This is the countryside. But you ain't go that far, ain't ya? Oh, 
Come on. Come on. Oh. You stupid. Just stupid. Anyways, as I was saying before, I was rudely interrupted there by some maniacs in their SUVs and cars and that. We are going to get this planting done. Obviously, the rolling can wait. We do the rolling by the end of the month, but. That's the thing, if more contracts pop up, that's going to take us our time out of it. Because we do really need money at the moment, so. This is going to be a very tight planting minute to get everything seeded and rolled. But I'm up for a challenge. Okay, yeah, why not? But, anyways, I'll get this all done. And I'll see you folks in the morning. Because we're going to be working into the night, I think, for this. There we go, we are in the third week of March, and as you can see, we are pretty much done with everything, just giving a little more on top up with the liquid fertilizer. And yeah, that took an age to do. But yep, yeah, got it all done, so all our greenhouses are going very well now. We're at negative money now, because we had to pay the loan interest overnight, so... Yeah, we need to do some contracts soon, or something. We did sell some milk yesterday. Didn't get too much out of it. Uh, we've got about, what, 3,700, 3,800 quid out of it. And that was uh, very much needed, because... I've done a bit of looking around last night, and... 
thankfully this morning it's all being plumbed in, all pumped up. We've got a little linkage system, linkage system going up to the other greenhouses from the main farm here. Because I was thinking make all the trips back and forth. It's going to be a bit arduous and treacherous, so what I've got and done as we just put the fertilizer back into the main tank so it's safely stored is getting a little distribution network in so if we head over here let's hop over the fence obviously we've got this pond here rather deep so what I've got and done is or what I was say what I've got someone else to do was so I came in, I'm going to sneak this up to down here to this little tank here. This holds a lot of water. I pretty much is an infinite amount of water basically. It's constantly running and pumping down all the way to Stonebridge Farm. Gold linked up with underground hoses and pipes. And now we've got an infinite source of water coming from the pond. Heading down here to the greenhouses. Also, we managed to get a little system up here to the farm and to those greenhouses over there just because of the pressure of the water coming from the pond down is enough to not only push it downhill to Simbridge Farm also provides just enough pressure to push it uphill a little bit it's not really much of a hill but it's an elevation nevertheless so but yeah so we have a look here we got weeds growing and it's rolling. So yeah, that's that. So but I think before we do the rolling, I think worst case we'll do all the rolling at the end of the month. So yeah, if we have a look at the PDA, it's all looking good. All we need to do now is do the barley in these fields. And then the potatoes in 45. I think we can do the potatoes in the next episode. Also, do you need more money coming in? We do have Surrey in that. Got Surrey, got a bit of New York here and there. Get a couple of grand from that. Because, yeah, it's going to be quite expensive to at least the potato. Actually, no. In theory. Oh no, sugar beets, we're doing not potatoes, sorry. Sugar beet, not potatoes. So, yeah, we've got the. Uh, actually, our planter can do potatoes, I think. So, that's not going to be an issue. Fit. For whatever reason, we can do potatoes. Can't get potato seeds in, then we'll just lease a potato planter and just do it that way. Ideally, I don't want to do that, but. But anywho, where am I going? We need to find the solitaire. And I think it's down here. It is, so. Actually, we can cut through here. Uh. Do, 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 do. Excuse the chickens. Head down here. And there's a path down here. Yeah, also, we do need to start making some TMR soon. Because, yeah, I think if we have a look at our animals, sheep are okay at the moment. I was going to let the sides run out here, but then we really do need TMR on the way soon. And the same British cows are doing alright at the moment. Still a few months worth of TMR, so let's do major rush again done. And also, I just noticed when we bought some TMR over the winter, for whatever reason, I have accidentally left uh, a few pallets of TMR shops. So, there you go, that's our source of TMR for the next couple of months, just there alone. Maybe about two months worth of TMR got. That's sort of about 20 ish thousand a year, so. Yeah, that's just about two months worth. But, anywho. Ah, no. Actually, as I remember, we're sort of planting. 
We're doing rye here, rye flour, not barley. Need to remember that, so... Select barley. Lower it. Just turn it on. And I just want to make sure everything's working. As usual. Yep. Uh, these are connections all hooked up. Hitch is on, the pin hook. Hoses are going, there's no leaks or anything. Of course, it's all automated by the computer, so I won't just dump seeds. We only put seed down as we go along, but. Yeah, everything's so good. We've already done our pre seeding checks, but. So, Harmon, just double check in. So, yeah, overall. I am happy. Pop into the John Deere. And there we go. We are seeding. So guessing because of this we'll still get wheat spite spraying it. Yeah, we're still gonna get wheat, so obviously we can do it now with the leader apparently, but I'll wait till they're a bit more established in that. And then we'll set the furrows not for a furrows spreader, the herbicide sprayer. And then we'll just do that way. Well, yeah, so anyways, we've got a bit of work to do. This shouldn't take us too long. Oh, wait a minute. Is this wheat? I know it's barley, thankfully. Let's double check. Wheat, barley, yeah. Phew, I thought we planted the wrong crop there then, but... Nope, for not. Even if it was a mistake, it's only... And the room simply picked it up and we just have to simply cultivate it and then all is all good. But yeah, anyways, we'll get this all done and I'll see you folks once we're done here. We are almost done with all the seeding. 
We're just doing the rye field over here, or I say we're doing rye. Got the cultivator because, yeah, we made a little mistake with accidentally putting barley in the first bit of this, so simply put. I'm just going to go over just to about there, give or take. And just turn around. Luckily, we picked it out quickly. As we mentioned just before the time lapse, up about Nippy making a mistake, or the possibility of making a mistake, and turned out we made a mistake here. But anyway, so we have a look now. Fertilized, fertilized. Right, so that is all good. Double check in the field info here. And there we go. So yeah. That's that little mistake all sorted. We'll leave that over there. Actually, I'll just follow this up quickly. There we go. Whack you there. And we can finish off doing the right field. In the John Deere. Oops, left it running. Shouldn't have done that, but oh well. Yeah, overall, not too bad. I'm actually liking how it's coming out. So we have three barley fields, four wheat fields, and a rye field, and a little oats field over there. So, yeah, come fall, we've been having lots of flour, and in res result, in result, oh, what's the word for it? Uh, I'm not sure, but in course, that's the words, we're going to have lots of bread. So we have grain, get into flour, and then we'll convert that flour into bread. And we're going to make a lot of money from this, I think, actually. And the way it's needed, at the moment we are, are struggling financially. That's because we've took a risk, we've took the gamble of not just buying more fields, more equipment, but also just in general with the orchards. That's a gamble. I know they'll pay off, but it's a long term investment. Maybe we could sell some apples net towards the end of the month for that, but because yeah we'll have a pile of apples at the end of the month and perhaps our first lot of apples we will sell them just to keep the farm in the Black. So at the moment we are deep in the red. But yep, so I will continue on this. And next episode we need to think about getting these fields fertilized and rolled. Also, TMR production, even though we don't need it at the moment, we're gonna have to get some underway, I think. But yeah, so anyways. That's what I'm going to leave it today, as always. Hope you enjoyed the episode. If so, smash that button. Feel free to go down below. If you want to share some, please be my guest. If you're not subscribed to the channel yet, then please consider. But for as you to do, hope you're going to stay. But for now, this is me, Farmer, and Void Stream. And I'll see you all very soon.